What's going on everyone? Garth here from Arky Salvage. I've started unloading the van earlier today with help from Wooly and other family members and we've gotten all of the stuff out of the van that isn't mine and now I'm going to go to the storage unit and get all of the listings and things out and I'm not sure what content I'll include today but uh, let's get down there and, uh, and make a start and we'll go from there. All right well this van is currently as empty as it's been in a long time and i'm going to make it emptier in a second we've got some mostly it's boxes it's a few listings up the back or things to list up the back a bit of, a few odds and ends i'm not quite ready to uh, talk about but i will in the relatively near future i'm going to get into it if there's anything interesting to uh, look at i'll show you in a minute the remainder of the things in here either live in the van or are coming out at home uh, i'm running out of time for today so we will continue this episode hopefully tomorrow but uh, whenever you see us next, in just a second, we'll be on a different day. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, well, it's about a week later, and we're actually following up a lead that we generated about six months ago. I'm just about to go meet with the gentleman now. We'll see what we see. Okay, so there's a few sheds to go through here, and I'm just going to look through. There's a lot to get through, uh, and most of this footage is just going to be for us for reference to decide what to make an offer on for the customer. Um, they've got uh, uh, three or four sheds full and there's a lot of material. There's boats, there's lathes, there's all kinds of stuff. So we might put some music over this or something um, for the bits that we do include, but this is just me looking through what's here and deciding what to make an offer on. Okay, so behind that awning there's an old fiberglass boat, which I don't think we'll make an offer on. The horse, I think, unfortunately, is too far gone for our purposes. I can't really see. So this, uh, this is going to take some time. I may have to come back and see what's in these steel boxes. There's a few that are like that. Okay, this old meat saw is probably something I'd be interested in making an offer on. I haven't tested it, but that's not that important. I would convert it into a uh, bandsaw for wood, probably. Okay, one of my favorite items is this lamp. So we'll probably make an offer on that. There's a little wood heater there. What I think is a wood heater. Not sure on that one. A water pump. Uh, a home light chainsaw. I can't tell the brand on the other one. They may be of interest. This is an old water boiler. Pretty pristine on the inside. Um, the mowers may be of interest. I don't think we're interested in the generator. The candlesticks down there are maybe. This is an interesting item here. This is for making concrete posts. So that's potentially of interest. Definitely uh, would like these two um, sieves. We've got a very heavy duty lathe and parts that go with the lathe. The little hand plane is a maybe. Okay, the grinder is a maybe for us. I'm not quite sure what that piece of equipment does. Oh, it's a, sorry, it is a uh, bandsaw or a um, power hacksaw. I would say this steel cabinet is definitely of interest. As well, any of the welding equipment. Although I already have plenty of that. Okay, the binoculars are a maybe. The fishing reel is... The Shimano fishing reel, that's probably not... Probably more for use than anything, that. 
I'm going to try to sneak through here and we'll start shooting again in a second. Now I used to go for hand saws, but I have, I have more of them than I need, so I would probably say no to those. The ASCII is a maybe. I'll have to look that one up. The hubcaps are a maybe. The salt or scale I'd be interested in. The fishing equipment I would be interested in, including that bit there. Looks like there's more over here that's fishing. I'd be interested in that. What else in here? Yeah, so I'd definitely be interested in this box of gear. For the weight is cast aluminum. Maybe the sign. Definitely want that. So this is an old picnic set. Good, good heavy box. Uh, potentially this AMF Wyatt Incorporated. Yeah, that one's potentially of interest. Okay. I don't know what to make of this. I haven't tried to open that. That one's turned around possibly on purpose. Okay, well, I just had a nice conversation with the owner. We're going to steer clear of these cupboards for a bit so he can go through them. So this boat is potentially of interest. There are some outboard motors. I do kind of like the old compressor. That's pretty sturdy looking. Uh, the drills and this, which I believe is from a drill press. That's of interest. Uh, the old hand crank grinder, yes. Possibly those work stands. Alright. Those are a no. I'd say yes to that tub. There's a few things in there that I can list. Uh, the Singer oil is definitely a yes. It's always good to check with what sort of their, uh, the, this is a yes. It's always good to check what they're comfortable with you going through because it's not necessarily everything. Um, pipe wrench is a maybe. Vice is more of a workhorse. I probably don't need that. These, though, are very good. These, especially if it's... This one's a Carter. Um, that's a really, really good vice. I'd like to have that. I'd like to have these. If I can get them. The clamp, yes. The pipe cutter, yes. The hook, yes. All of the magnets, for sure. Definitely want the fridge magnets, <laughs> if they're available. Okay. Saw a few things in here. Um, 
screwdrivers will be all right. The clamps, definitely. Definitely have a use for the clamps. Hacksaw, oh. hacksaw is good. Mallet's a bit light. This tool is very good. That is for working on civil projects. The levels, especially this level. The stabilia we have to look up, but that's at least a $50 item. Possibly more. I don't know what that is. Nope. Okay, I think that's about going to do it for this shed. For now, let's move on to the... Oh, yep, the boat anchor, sorry, is a yes. All right, let's move on to the next stuff. Okay, we've got a commercial sewing apparatus and a commercial sewing machine. Can't see the brand. Uh, but here we have a large Singer commercial sewing machine and a smaller, more compact Singer machine. And over on the wall there, two fish that are potentially of interest. And I think that's it in this, possibly that toy, possibly that uh, trolley we'll see, uh, and the, the horse here maybe. Okay, that, uh, this here. Bin potentially. I know he's keeping this press. It's a meat press and this. Uh, well, maybe the meat press. I can't remember if he's keeping the meat press or not, but he's definitely keeping the butcher block. Um, I don't want to dig in too much in here, but. I don't see anything else in here immediately. Low radiation, okay. All right, let's move to the next spot. Maybe some of the steel. Or all of it, depending. The wedges. Possibly the outboard motor. Possibly the chainsaw parts on that shelf over there. I know he's keeping the weed eater. That is apparently the green cabinet is for yabbies, which is interesting. Never seen that before. Let's see if there's anything else in here immediately that I want to make an offer on. There's a number of pumps and motors and things, but without getting digging into it. Uh, and then there's not really any tools here that I feel I need to make an offer on. Should pro they'll probably hang on to them anyway. Okay, well I think that's it for me for today. Uh, luckily they're not in a big rush, so uh, and he wants to keep going through um, some of the stuff that's still here. So what I will do is put together an offer on those things that we want to try to buy, and uh, and then we'll get back in touch, and uh, hopefully we'll continue this process. Uh, over the next couple months or whatever and try to buy a few of these items for the business Okay, well, I thought I would end today's video with this group of figurines Not because these are the kind of items we like to have in the shop They generally aren't but because I do advocate taking a punt on things that you don't know much about especially if it's inexpensive Because it gives you an opportunity to learn about them I know quite a bit about figurines and I know that they're a slow mover at the best of times unless they're extremely rare and sought after um, but we got these quite inexpensively. They were in a group uh, at auction. I can't remember exactly what we paid, but I believe less than 20 or $30 total. And I think with these over time, we will do quite well. Um, and, you know, you can tell that at one point in time, these were quite desirable. Because the person had some pretty high prices on these back when they were last for sale. I don't know what they will get in the end. You know, leave a comment if you think you see anything that's particularly good here but in my opinion these are mostly unbranded type uh, figurines and you know there might be 150 or 200 dollars here tops but you know how long it'll take to sell I don't know I couldn't resist on the day and I think 
as a reseller, you should be taking punts where you can, where it's not super risky, just to try to figure out, especially if you're new, try to figure out what it is that you actually like to sell. Because you can advocate all you want to sell things that sell well, but if you don't like selling them, in the end you're going to be miserable anyway. So, for example, if I was to do a clothing store and all I did was sell clothing, I'd be miserable the first week. So, I thought I'll leave you with that thought. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We did jump around a bit, but that's kind of what life is like for us at the moment. So, if you enjoyed today's video, really appreciate a thumbs up. Possibly think about subscribing if you haven't, and we'll catch you next time.